The former DNI, Director of National Intelligence, John Radcliffe, is coming out with shocking news. He has irrefutable proof where the Wuhan virus came from, you know, from Wuhan, and it was originated there and released from there. Let's go to China for a second. Um, China. The, China, 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 uh, the former director of national intelligence, which, you know, is supposed to be the most informed guy in the United States in terms of international intelligence is this guy. It's John Radcliffe. He says that the only, quote, explanation, plausible assessment for the origin of the global pandemic of COVID-19 is a leak from here the Wuhan Institute of Virology. He says there is numerous intelligence and diverse and unassailable, meaning 100% proof positive, that this is where the pandemic came from. And he's going to give an overview to the intelligence community based on the information that he has seen that is being ignored by practically everybody. When John Radcliffe comes out and says this, that the evidence is fucking, freaking overwhelming. Why isn't this world headlines? Why isn't everybody talking about it? Why isn't it the headline in every single paper that says we funded it? As Rand Paul talks about all the time, gain of function was paid for by yep. the National Institutes of Health under Fauci to put the money into Wuhan. OK, at this lab, there's no question this is where the d disease was created. The only question is, did they release it on purpose to screw up the entire world or were they planning to release it here and there? But it got out. But the fact is, that's where the disease came from. And this is not world headlines, even though it's a fact. What should we be doing now, Will, about what John Radcliffe, right, this guy has now released as fact? You know what I wish what would happen, Barry, is that the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA would start rounding these people up that were involved. A lot of people don't remember that Nancy Pelosi and other predominant Democrats showed up in China just months before all of this went down. And then when it started going down, Nancy Pelosi and again, other predominant Democrats went to Chinatown in the United States of America saying Trump is crazy. There's nothing wrong. Look, we're here in Chinatown. We love the Chinese people, blah, 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 blah. But they never released a transcript of her discussions in China when she was there. Why not? And I, that's what that's was really mind blowing to me. No one's asking. They're not even asking. It's like. You don't ask that because you don't need to know. That's highly classified. Apparently so. They had, they could not find any kind of way to remove Trump. This was a last ditch effort, a last ditch effort. And it's really amazing that they have to go to China to have something happen all around the world. So then that way they have an excuse to like put in measures to remove president Trump because all of a sudden no one could go to the box. No one could go to the box and pull the lever. No one could do that. You have to do it from home. You can mail it in, do whatever. You have you, to do. You can, you can have your stuff. friend round up. You can have you can your friend have, round yeah. up all the ballots it's, in the old yep. age home. Yep. Right? Yeah, I mean, so that, that all that came into play, and they utilize it to their advantage, which we see today. And then they talk about the big lie. Really, really, we're talking about a group of people that would tell us a man can become a woman, but yet we should believe them on everything else. Make it make sense. I can't. I can't. <laughs>